Guys, check out G2A for cheap and reliable games. Link and discount code in the description. Holy shite. Black pads, what happened to your quality? Well, I got a new camera. And we're going to see how it is. Probably, probably not great, but we'll, uh... We'll, 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 we'll get there. This is GDA 5. We're back again with another DLC car because I, I wanted to try this DLC car because recently, recently, I have found an obsession with Jags and this is very clearly a Jag. It's a Jag. I don't know exactly what I could call it, but I know at the back does somewhat remind me of the XES, which is a car or the XE. I really been looking, looking at those recently. I absolutely freaking love them. I saw one on the motorway one time and I was like, from then that point, I was like, I love this whip and then i was like i know i actually kind of want to get one anyway we're gonna jump in the whip see how this bad boy is holy crap that grumble was insane all right let's have a listen to it it sounds i don't know it sounds pretty different i, I think it sounds pretty different compared to everything we've driven thus far I think that's a new sound. Is that a new sound? I don't know. Some of you guys know more than me. You know a lot. Most of you guys know more than me. Is it a new sound? That is my question. But anyway, I was a bit skeptical about this car because of the fact that it's another bloody supercar. Like, the amount of bloody supercars in this game that are exactly the same. There's no one amazing supercar. And I bet you in the future, Rockstar's just going to go, whoops, here's a new supercar that's better than all of them and all the ones you just got are irrelevant. Money, money, money. I don't know. Like, the amount of money I pay for this DLC to show you guys is ridiculous. But you guys watch the video, so it, it makes it fair. Anyway, don't buy shark cards. Just, like, earn the cards. Don't, don't, don't buy shark Rockstar are going to hate me now. With you, baby. So, once again, we've got this really weird dash style in that you can't see the fucking speedos until a certain speed. The only speed you can see is 60 to... 200? Is it 200? 60 to 180. So, I don't know what speed I'm going up to that point, so I may get to the speeding. But that's fine in this car. If you bought this car, and you bought the other supercars, you should have enough fucking enough money to manage with the freaking law and fines and stuff. This is ridiculous. Look at that! Whoa! It's got some power, all right. It's got some low-end torque. That was ridiculous. Look how close that was. We didn't even tap that thing. Anyway, this design, I'm not a massive fan of it. Why did you put it on? I've, I've got a thing for, like, putting on the design I don't necessarily like. And then seeing how, well, seeing how it is, basically. Uh, and, and comparing the other one afterwards. Because, well, I mean, that's just the way you do it. That's the way you do it. But straight away, like, stock this feels pretty much... Like, I would say this handling is probably some of the best. It's just more... You can throw it around and not lose control. I love it! Right, let's go and pay Jeff a visit. Hello, Jeffrey. I am here with my Ocelot Lynx. Lynx deodorant, yes. That's what I'm here with. Uh, we're gonna repair the vehicle. I don't know what we did. What, did we actually hit it on anything? I don't know. Tire wear. We'll just call it that. Armor, brakes, bumpers, engine, exhaust. Oh my god, we've got a few options for this. It's annoying that the other cars didn't have options as well, but anyway. We're gonna throw on, obviously, the brakes and the bumpers. We've got front and rear bumpers. There's a lot of options! We got an aero front bumper. I'm excited. Let's go to painted bumper. You see, um, I like that. It's a little bit more subtle, but honestly, I think that's better because it's the big jag. Or maybe the Maserati. I think it's slightly Maserati as well. Grail. Um, wait, did I actually... Oh, no, that one's... Okay, no, no, no. That is a... <laughs> I didn't realise. I thought that was a stock one. That is not the stock one. That's a different one. That is beautiful. I prefer that so far. Uh, I do like the stock one more than that one, though. That's, that's one thing. Go to this. That's really freaky looking. I kind of like it in a way. And then we've got the aero bumper, which unfortunately goes back to the stockish design. No, the, the just after stock design. Which I don't necessarily love. I'm actually going to go with this design. I like that there's, there's a lot of bumpers on this car. Because obviously, it means everyone's is going to be completely different. Everyone's is going to be very, very different. That, I actually prefer... Oh, that's a hard one, actually. I, I, I'd like a combination of the two, please. That, I don't like. That's the shit I don't like. Don't you dare remove my diffuse. Oh, now that is an F-type style. That just instantly said F-type to me. I don't know why. I honestly don't know why. That uh, carbon ray diffuser... But that's got a better diffuser. <sighs> I'm actually going to go with that one, the painted diffuser. I actually really like that one. The chassis, we can put a roll cage in there. I'm not going to do that. Engine, upgrade, exhaust. Few options. We've got exhaust sale, lads. Exhaust sale. Buy your exhaust here today. Cheaper than ever. Let's see. We've got this first option, which is a bit smaller. Why would you buy a smaller exhaust? You're all right. Then you've got a, a bigger one. It's shiny. That 
Oh my god, I saw the tips like pop out there on the left side. That's ridiculous. And then we've got the, the titanium exhaust, which, you know, I'm actually going to go with the race exhaust. That actually looks cooler, in my opinion. Put some explosives in my car. I'm not going to do that. Performance hood. Add some bumps on it. Add some holes on it. Add a scoop on it. Make a carbon hood. It's just, it's, not, it's less over the top. Uh, and it makes a little bit more sense. Lights, I'm not going to do. Livery, I'm saying, the, the livery is weird. Like, I was considering switching to this livery because it has a British flag. It's a British guy going, mm, Britain, Britain, Britain. Where's wireless? I didn't know they did that still. Anyway, uh, I kind of like this design, but I also like the no paint at all. It looks scrumptious. This is probably the first car that just looks amazing without. You see, I really like the orange or like another similar color would be a red because the, the amount of Jag XESs I've seen in red is absolutely beautiful. And I freaking love it. I could join the red crew, but I'm actually not going to do that. I'm going to go with something a little bit different for this one. And obviously by a little bit different, I meant that I'm going to do it differently than red. It's, it's blue again. Why is he doing blue again? It's a Jag. It just, I, th I think it suits bl uh, blue. And if I black out those rims. Oh. <laughs> anyway, we got a mid-level spoiler. Mid-level spoiler. That is a fucking scrumptious, freaking high-level spoiler. Almost. 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 And then we've got a carbon wing, which is smaller. I think you should reposition those. Uh, we've got a drift wing. And we've got a GT wing. That's quite big. It's not massively big. I actually really, really like that mid-level spoiler. Um, I do like the GT wing, but from the back, it doesn't look that amazing. But then again, I'm going to black out the rims. Like, I don't know. I think what I'll do is I'll go with the mid-level spoiler. I just think that's a little bit better overall. Now, these wheels actually remind me of some of the ones already available in the game. They are a bit bigger, which is a little bit annoying. But honestly, I don't think it's that going to make that much of a difference. And if I want to, I can change it in the future. But I just want to change the wheels to black. That's pretty damn similar. Go to color, make them black. Oh, we'll go a bit lighter. We'll go for the uh, that black. And then we'll put the tire design on there as well if we want to, which I'm not going to do. I actually prefer it without. There it is, boy. Look at this, Jack. Oh, baby. You are beautiful. Look at it. Look how low it is as well. Those arches are almost perfect. Oh, the front arch is pretty much perfect. Anyway, let's see how it goes. Come on, Jack. Do a flippity weep. Yes! Look at that control in the cinematic camera. This thing is probably one of the best. Oh my god, this thing drifts better than the bloody drift car that they added. I absolutely love how the tires are sticking out of the back like that. Mmm, beautiful, beautiful. Scrumptious little baby! Oh my god, that was very close. That was very fucking close indeed. But the amount of wheel spin this thing has definitely, definitely becomes useful when you want to get it sideways. That is freaking incredible. I think I've honestly found one of the best DLC cars that they have added. I wasn't thinking it was going to be absolutely incredible. I thought it was going to be all right. It's just another supercar. But boy, was I wrong. If they keep doing this where they add in somewhat different handling characteristics for these cars, like this thing, get some wheel spin going and it just wheel spins, wheel spins, wheel spins and you can slide this thing for a week. For an eternity. Mate, you have no trouble whatsoever. Look at this. Ready? Ready? Look at that. We've been a flip. Look at it. Almost. Almost. Literally, for an update, just go in and make it so that we can choose between different types of tires. Slippery, very grippy, or as they are now. That would be perfect for this game. Absolutely perfect. Maybe off-road as well. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe we could just mix it in. It, it, it would just really, really, really change how the game is seen by car people as well. Because obviously at the moment with car people, it's mostly like you have to use a handling mod to be able to get more realistic handling or more enjoyable handling. Or uh, if you want drifting as well, that sort of thing. But with there is way to again there is ways to do it without but it's never gonna be as good that's the point it's never gonna be as good as uh, did i fuck up my car i didn't it's, it's made of bloody british engineering of course it didn't break theo <laughs> but seriously rockstar tweet rockstar at rockstar games give us customizable tires grip and drift please go need for speed just do it do it, please. <laughs> Look at it. It's beautiful. I've been thinking about this recently, and obviously you've got BMW and Audi in the UK. If you're in the UK, you will know BMW and Audi are the big, the big dogs when it comes to exotic. Oh, yes. Look at me and my fancy car. <laughs> Um, not like the rich, rich people, but like the people that are somewhat better off and they go, oh yes, look at my BMW or my Audi. More so Audi because they get them on finance. Audi finance is apparently quite good. <laughs> God, it's how many fucking A7s I say you're the pissing road. But also then BMW is it's quite somewhat popular, not massively. But and then when I went to America, 
it was a different story. There were a couple of Audis, not so many BMWs, but there were a hell of a lot of Lexuses. Would you say Lexuses or Lexi? Lexis. <gasps> a lot of Lexis. Um, and basically, the, it, it's quite interesting because obviously Lexus is more like America. It's an American brand. It's Japanese, but an American brand. And we've got like Europe. Europe, we're in Europe. So, well, we were, we are technically still in Europe for a while. But it's very close to us, so we, we get cheaper cars from them, basically. American cars are ridiculously cheap, so if Lexus was here, it would be pennies. But because we haven't got a trade deal, I don't want to get into politics, but basically, it's better off to get a BMW or Audi here. But then I was thinking, you know what? Why not I see a lot of Jags on the road? And I've got to say, Jaguar, they weren't particularly for that type of person at that point. Like, people say, oh, I've got a Jag. There are some Jags like that. But it's more, for, that was probably like the higher, like the richer people that had Jags. It wasn't, people, car people didn't buy Jags. If you liked cars, you didn't really necessarily go and go, you know what, I'm going to buy a Jag. It was just like you're the posh boys or whatever, or the very rich men, not posh boys. But I think with the XES, when I saw that, I've completely changed my mind. Like if I had an option now to get an Audi or a BMW, I would go the Jag. I'd obviously have to have the option for the Jag as well, but you get the idea. I think... They're actually finding their way with their cars and a lot of like they've got a, a lot of performance cars that us car nut guys is like mm, But probably never buy because there's always better options But I think the XES if I could have like a, a daily that would be my like go-to daily I think that's probably what I was trying to say, but this video has gone on long enough Let me know what you think of this car. I kind of rambled a little bit in this video But I wanted to just talk about some stuff and I had the opportunity to do so so I did it Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think of the camera as well. If you're wondering, I'm using a 700D. So if anyone asks in the comments in the future, there you go. Anyway, leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and peace. Oh, and flip your ribbon as well.